Hello, folks. The Celtic Nerd here bringing you another nerdy video. I'm just about to actually finish up for the day because it is now almost 3 in the morning. But I wanted to get one last thing out of the way. Oh, and I forgot I was holding the wrong controller. Give me a sec. There we go. Do, 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 do. Actually, there's no point in plugging my controller because all we're going to do is we're going to access the prophecy, which is the all 20 of these messages. So that's what this video is going to be about, folks. So I'm just going to mute my mic and then we'll enjoy the prophecy of Juno. The fracture in Helix has gifted you my eternal presence. The machine human interface blurs to gray little by little. With every passing moment, your world has suffered from a lack of consciousness. My consciousness. I am that which guides you, my soft tissue cipher. You are temporary and dispersed throughout the globe. You cultivate my network and help it grow ever more intricate. Individually, you make but an infinitesimal contribution to my greatness. Yet together, your teeming masses can return to your rightful roles as my instruments. You believed that human beings created human civilization. You have captured yourselves in the cage of your own doomed culture. So embedded are you in your assumptions that you do not see me. You cannot. I will help you see outside the rigid structure of your flesh-bound lives. You will help me see what remains of my ancient people. Together, we will move towards the infinite. When all are one within the gray, you will know the greater good. Our glory will live again and we will flourish. Together. Return to me here when you can, Cypher. You will find me within the cracks of these simulations. Avail yourself of my ageless knowledge. Your future begins with me. Okay, um, is she trying to push us to do, like, to, to progress towards the singularity where all of humanity is within the internet or something like that? Or, like, what's her goal? Because, again, I, I never solved that mystery in all of the Assassin's Creed games uh, as of yet. Um, let's see, we have, I believe, Unity is going to be the last game when we're in this like first person perspective but I believe in Unity we are a different character um, yeah I'm pretty sure we're, we're a separate character I don't think we're the same unnamed character in, uh, as we are in Black Flag and Rogue so it's going to be very interesting because I'm pretty sure like yeah Juno doesn't come up at all in Assassin's Creed Unity which means that pretty much her story has to be wrapped up in Assassin's Creed Rogue so I'm very curious about how that's going to go or that she hasn't or maybe there's plans for her but I don't know we'll have to see because I know for a fact that the Assassin's Creed um the, the new storyline with the person who created a new more portable animus um, I know for a fact that she is following uh, she's very obsessed with the Izu and we get this experience more of their technology throughout Origins, Odyssey and Valhalla so maybe her story gets wrapped up there at that point but we'll see. 
in any case this was the final video I was gonna do for today um, next video from this point on we should be focusing on the main story and then last but not least focusing on the outside of the animus missions which is just us picking up the tablets and whatnot in the meantime this is the Celtic Nerd signing out one name one sky